The water was not going to be their tomb. The water was the obstacle that God put in front of them so that they would walk by faith, trusting that their leader would do what he said he would do, trusting in the God who not only opens the heavens, but opens the seas. And the Red Sea crossing is very much like the Passion Week for the disciples. The disciples are coming to Jerusalem. They're coming expecting Jesus perhaps to crucify the political and religious leaders. But Jesus has another show in store. Jesus instead, he asked the disciples to walk through the waters of death with him. He's asking the disciples to look beyond the military of Rome, beyond the power of the Pharisees. He's asking them to look beyond the crucifixion of Good Friday, to look beyond the sight of man and to see the salvation of the Lord, but they must remain silent and hope in God. Jesus' death on Good Friday was indeed a great testing for his disciples. But the disciples must see beyond the grave. They need to see that what appears to be death is going to lead to life that we must trust in the promises of God, that whatever impediment he places in front of his church, we need to follow our leader, our Lord, and move beyond the waters of despair, that when our enemies mock and curse us, when our enemies see us as frail pieces, easily shredded by their institutions, when they try to indoctrinate us in gloom and hopelessness, we look beyond the Red Sea to the Promised Land. 